may have found out why this alternator won't work. It's uh, the two pins, the pin two and one, so we're right. That one is the light, you know, and that one is the live, the switch one. And all you do is live it and the light should come on, right? And you just put the two together and put that on the battery, you know, and the earth. But it's not in very good condition. But this one is open circuit. I'm just going to see if I can show you. I'm not sure if I can or not. Or if you can see it. I'm trying to look through the viewfinder to make sure. Right, my old meter's not that good, is it? But look, can you see? It does work still. And if you go on that one, which is very difficult to do, there's oh, not holding it right. Sorry. Look, that's live. That's your big ter live terminal there that comes from your battery. And uh, I nearly can't see myself, but the, down there, that pin there, look, is doing nothing. Right, I've tried it both ways round just in case. So we've got an open circuit, right? I should move the meter a bit now. The other one, look, it's got resistance on it, you see. So I think we've found the problem, but I will just show you very, very quickly that the uh, it's in pretty poor state anyway. I'll get another one, it's not a problem, but uh, that's why I've got these lights on like this, just so I can show you. There's the device there. There we are, look. Right, can you see? It's all... If it's focusing, if I can hold it still enough. Look. It's all a bit grufty, isn't it? I had a blooming job to take it to bits, actually. But, uh, funny enough, the brushes are actually quite good. So I'll just show you that. Quickly, look. The brushes aren't bad. Anyway, we can get another one, but, uh, you know, I had a job to take it bits. Right, we'll get on. Now, I don't think for a minute that this is going to work this way, but I'm just trying it and see. See if we can use the Briggs as a donkey engine for the Lister. Be the trouble keeping the belts lined up, keeping the belts on. That's it. I've got another idea anyway. All I did, I'll show you in a minute what's on here, and I have got another idea of uh, putting some rubber on that and see if I can rub against the flywheel. That may work, we don't know, but it would work if I had a proper belt anyway. Because what it is, I'm all right. Well, I'm not all right, but swinging this engine, I'm actually it's hurting my shoulder a bit. But it, I just want to give it a, a run today because it, you know it's coming cool. See if this still goes. So we've had that one going anyway. We'll have a play with that again in a minute. See, it pulls off. See, it shouldn't be hurting me. The plumbing thing starts up well and it's swinging it. You know, it's ever so easy to turn. So this is just really for playing about. It was just an idea I had. Playing about. Oh, this is running well. Today.
Get it. I think it needs a bit of a run. It's around, so we'll see. Because it's actually running well now. I'll not leave it too long because you know it gets boring, but people like seeing engines going, don't they? But look at that. We're still on full rich, but it's running properly at the moment, so can't complain about that, can I? For a 1951 engine. And of course, it, I bet it hasn't been run much for a long while. I bet you hope you like it, because that engine hasn't been run very much for a long while. But it is starting and running okay now, so I mustn't complain at that. Lovely. That'll run out of petrol in a minute, I'll turn the petrol off. Stop that by leaning it off. I'm not sure that tap stopped the petrol enough, or it's getting better at petrol. Anyway, all I did was uh, I needed that three quarter, right? And I found the three quarter nut and filed a little bit off the threads, and I had that pulley that we were given, you know, welded it on there and just hammered it on the pulley, and it's all right. Look, it's on, it works properly. Anyway, well, I suppose we better see if this still worked as well, have we? Yeah. Let's, uh, <laughs> while we're doing this, let's put something on the video once again. But that's, um, yeah, it, I can maybe rig something up like that. Anyway, it's just, as I say, something to, I'm not going to be starting it up much, am I? You know, and it does, it swings over ever so easy, that does. But when I do it the other day, it hurt my shoulder. So, we'll see. Anyway, does this still work? Or have we got another problem here? That's the other thing. Amazing. Hold that there. Try and not electrocute myself. Well, at least something I've done works. <laughs> I don't know. Things we mess about with these engines. Anyway, you get the general plan. You know, and certainly with a proper pulley and a belt on it, it would easily do it. But it swings over ever so easily, you know. It's um, but I'm only I'm only playing because I told you what I got this for, you know, something to do in my yard when it's not raining and snowing, and something just to play with when I can manage it. And if I can't manage it, it doesn't matter. That's what the whole deal's about, you know. And we can take that to shows next year again, hopefully. So there you go.